In this experiment we're going to use a ray box with a single ray of light to investigate refraction as it comes out of a glass block. I draw around the glass block and then use a ruler to measure halfway along the flat side. This is where I'm going to aim the ray for the whole of the experiment. I now use a protractor to mark every 10 degrees and that's going to show the route where the ray will enter the block. Because the ray is striking the circular part of the block, it's always entering at 90 degrees, so no refraction will happen. This means you can aim the ray at the midpoint of the flat part of the block every time. I switch on the ray box and aim it at 90 degrees, being careful to line the ray up very carefully with the dot I've marked. I use the little crosses to show the route and then adjust the ray to aim at 10 degrees. Again, putting little crosses on the ray to show where it's coming out of the block. I repeat that for all of the different angles, being careful at a larger refracting angle to make sure my crosses are in the middle of the ray that's coming out of the block. Now I see that the ray has reflected. It's done total internal reflection within the block. And I continue with the rays all the way through to 60 and 70 degrees. I've missed out the 80 and 90 so my diagram doesn't become too cluttered. Then I take my ruler and I join all of the dots together to show the routes the rays have taken and measure the angles with the protractor being careful to measure from the normal to the rays. I now do the same for the reflected rays, the ones that have done total internal reflection inside the glass block and measure the angles that those two have come out.